All right, so for this game, we have a bit of a grouping and sequencing mix. Um, so we, we definitely have a sequential component because we are told about how the different shifts are in that relative order, morning before afternoon before night, but every one of these can have several people. So we do have a grouping aspect to it. So we'll set it up accordingly. We essentially have um, our three shifts, morning, afternoon, night, the people themselves are HPSDW. And we are told that we do have to have somebody on every shift. So there has to be at least one space in each, which is always a good place to start. Let's take a look at the rules. So the first rule tells us that we have to have more people in the morning than in the night. So I suppose we can say that morning has to have more people than nighttime. Um, and when it comes to these kind of rules that, that set up certain limits on spacing, you always want to start thinking about kind of the implications, what this does for the game. Um, I mean, obviously the morning now has to have at least two people associated with it, but you'll notice that the nighttime is also now quite limited because there's not actually a way to have two people here, because if you had two people over here, you would have to have three people over here in the morning, and that's already five and then there will be nobody left for the afternoon. So the nighttime is locked into just one space, and that's, that's pretty significant. Next, we are told that P cannot go later than S. Now for these kind of rules, remember you always wanna be cautious about the wording. Uh, there's a reason that they, did, that they didn't say that P is earlier than S, and that's because that doesn't have to be true. They could potentially be in the same group, but what this does say is that S essentially cannot go before P. This could not happen. But again, they could potentially go together. That said, though, that does kind of mean that P, there's no way to place the P at night, is there? Because if you place the P here, it would have to be alone because there's only one person there, and then S would have been forced prior. So that's pretty good. P can't actually go at night, P has to go either in the morning or in the afternoon. So that's that's pretty good. Next, we are told that either P or T, but not both, would have to go with H. So H essentially has to be with one of P or T, but not both, um, which I suppose really can be simplified as saying that P and T in general cannot go together because one of them is going to end up with H and they're not going to both be there with H. Um, so that's pretty good. Um, in fact, I mean, obviously H also can't go into the night because then that would force there to be two people there. So that H, P or T block is going to go either in the morning or in the afternoon. But if they go in the afternoon, then that would also lock out the afternoon because that would place two people here and then we still have to accommodate two over here and one over there to get to five. Um, so that actually might be a pretty good um, thing to exhaust. We can try both possibilities for that HPT setup. So let's do that. Either the HPT is going to go in the morning or they are going to go in the afternoon. Except if they're in the afternoon, this is locked. There's no more space in the afternoon, which means that all of the spaces are locked. So that's that's pretty good. Now, is there anything else that we could that we could do here? In the top scenario, I suppose I suppose S could still go in the morning as long as as it's with the P, and we could have three people here. That's not really an issue. Um, in the bottom scenario, I suppose again you could have had S and P together over here, and then this could have been a T. So that also could have happened. Um, for the record, what could go at the night? I mean, we know P and H definitely could. Can everybody else? S seemingly should be okay. Um, yeah, that's kind of open, isn't it? So you know what, let's, let's take a look and see what we can do with this. So the first question as usual is our exclusion question and we do this by the rule. So the first rule was that um, more people in the morning than the nighttime. So answer choice A automatically gets disqualified because we only have one person in the morning. B looks okay, C is fine. Um, oh, actually, no, B is not okay. Uh, B has two people at night and two in the morning, so that doesn't work. Um, C is fine, D is fine, E is fine. Next, S cannot go before P 
answer choice C looks okay, B looks okay, E is not because we have S before P. Next, H has to be with exactly one of P or T. So answer choice C has H with P, which is okay. Answer choice D has H with W, which is not. So the best answer to question number 18 is C. And as usual, I guess we may as well plug that in. So C gives us H and P in the morning. Then we get S and W in the afternoon. And we have T at night. Let's take a look at the local questions. So number 19 is global. We'll skip that one for just a moment. Um, let's take a look at number 20. So number 20 says, if W is in the afternoon, well, let's play this out. If W is in the afternoon, actually, if you take a look at our templates, again, let's just label these. Um, if W is in the afternoon, that forces us into, into template A, right? Because here there's no way to have W go in the afternoon. That was locked. So that's pretty good. If we have W in the afternoon, we'll have to have H with one of P or T in the morning, as per usual. Anything else we can do here? I suppose. No, because we could still have an S in the morning still. Um, or maybe even in the afternoon, could we have an S over here as long as yet? Because this could be P and that's still okay. You know what? Let's take a look. Maybe this is enough information. The question asks what must be true. T goes at night. We don't seem to know that. Um, T goes in the afternoon. We still don't seem to know that. S is in the afternoon. We don't seem to know that. P is in the morning. Not necessarily. H is, oh, there it is. H would have to go in the morning. The best answer to question number 20 is E. Next, number 21. If H is in this, it is together with S. So if we have H and S together, well, actually, if you take a look at our exhaustion, again, this, this is inconsistent with the second template because that was locked. So if H and S are together, it would have to be in the morning per the first template. So we can line that up. We'll have to have H with S and with one of P or T, except it would have to be P because if it was T, then S would end up before P and that wouldn't work. So this would have to be H, S, P over here. And that leaves us with T and W and there's no, not really any restrictions left on them. So I guess they'll just flip between the afternoon and night. The question asks, which of the following could be true? Answer choice A, W goes at night. That's, that's pretty good. W could go tonight. Um, just in case, let's take a quick look at the others. P goes at night. No, P is in the morning. P is in the afternoon. No, again, P is in the morning. W is in the morning. No, because right now the morning is full. And T goes in the morning. No, that's full. So the best answer to 21 is A. Next, 22 is global. Let's come back to it in a second. Question number 23. If P is alone, well, if P is alone, I guess, what does that tell us? Well, actually, again, if you look at your templates, this would not work with template B, would it? Because the only place for P to be alone here is at night, but we know P, we said, can't be at night. So if P is alone, that forces us into template A, and specifically, the only place that P could be alone there would be in the afternoon. So we can line all of this up. P would have to be here alone, and then in the morning, you'd have to have H with T since P is no longer a candidate. Um, what else do we know? Well, S can't go before P, which means that S is gonna have to go after P. And this is done. And I guess who's left? W, W is gonna have to go in the morning. Nice. The question asks, who must go in the afternoon? And I guess we already answered that a while ago. That would be answer choice D. P would have to go in the afternoon. Next, back to the global questions. So question number 19. The group of clerks assigned to the afternoon cannot include who? Okay, so I guess who can't go in the afternoon? A, could we have H and S in the afternoon? Actually, no, that, that looks like a pretty good answer right there. You'll notice that between the our two exhaustions, um, in the second template, I mean, this is done, there's no way H and S could go there, but in the first template, H is in the morning, so they'll definitely not go in the afternoon. So the best answer to question number 19 is A. Of course, if you wanted to double check, let's take a look at the rest of these. B, P and S, could we have them together, um, specifically in the afternoon? And 
maybe in the sec in the top template we could have maybe had a pns over here as long as t goes to the morning so that could have worked answer choice b could we have p and w together in the afternoon and same deal maybe we could have p and w here and then maybe you can even have s join them arguably oh no that you can't have three people here but if you do p and w over here then yeah t would go in the morning and then s would go in the night and that's fine because s is not before p so yeah again that could have worked next can we have s and t together in the afternoon well again it would have to be the top scenario but if we did s and t go here and then p goes here that's okay because s is not before p so that would have been fine answer choice e t and w are together in the afternoon and could we do that maybe so if t and w go here p would have to go in the morning and that's okay s would go at night and it's after p so that's fine so the only one that cannot be true as we said is answer choice a lastly question number 22 the group of clerks assigned to the morning cannot be what well same kind of deal let's take a look answer choice a could we have t and w in the morning now that could perhaps actually even we could perhaps even have it up here if we have t and w over here then we can just have p in the afternoon and s at night that seems okay um or even over here t and w go there and then p is over here and s goes over there that that seems completely fine answer choice b could we have s and t together in the morning well if we have s and t in the morning well in the second scenario that definitely would not work because then if you put s and t over here then s will go before p and that's not cool um in the top scenario actually that also wouldn't work because if you put s and t over here in order to avoid s before p you'll have to also have p in the morning as well but that can't be done for one that's too many people and p and t can never be together so yeah we could never have s and t together in the morning best answer to question 22 is b just in case so let's take a quick look at the other ones uh, p and s could they both be in the morning and in the second scenario maybe you could put them over here pretty easily and then t goes here and w goes here and that's fine s and p are together so it wouldn't violate this rule so that could have been okay answer choice d h and w together in the morning and in the top template maybe if you put an h here with a w then you could perhaps have a p over here which would have been fine and then s and t are just going to shuffle between these two not a big deal for the record you'll notice that the question is not asking for um, a complete list just you know to include those people there um, so it would allow for you to have other people with them as well answer choice e h and t together and in the top template again if we put a t over here then that seems okay as long as you'll have to have a p in the afternoon and s would have to go at night in order to avoid not having s before p but that's still fine so the best answer here once again is b